Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, tonight on the show, we are going to take a look at yet another deck from Leno. Uh, we've all been used to uh, those nasty, nasty, uh, fun, practical decks from Leno. And this time is uh, his Harakiri Battle Mage. And I think the title is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, it's a self-harm battle mage. And um, let's take over the deck quickly and I'll, I'll soon explain what the deal is. So we've got Cloak and Dagger Frenzy, the lit rapid shot fighters guild hall. Uh, that's one of the cornerstones of the stack. Uh, Flaming Breath, Lozra, Ravenous Crocodile, Warcrafter, Daggerfall Mage, Fearless, Northlander, Maroons, Dragon's Flayer, Skaven, uh, Skaven, sorry, Skaven Pyromancer, Breton Conjurer, Sentinel, Battle Mace, Blast Bones. Uh, we've seen little to no use uh, of this card, although it's a very, very good card. Alpha Conjurer, Cradle Crush, Giant, Belivering Giant, Mighty Conjuring, and Uncano. So basically, this stack uh, relies on self-inflicting harm. And we've got Fighter's Guild Hall, as I mentioned, when a friendly creature takes damage on your turn, give it plus two uh, attack. Flaming Breath deals one damage to everything, including your own creatures. Uh, meaning uh, they'll get uh, some interesting buffs. We've got Lozra because we have some high attack creatures. Uh, Ravenous Crocodile. Now this crocodile right here, you must deal 2 damage to a friendly creature. Well, that kind of helps our goal here, right? Uh, Daggerfall Mage for card drawing combined with, ra with Rapid Shot as well. Fearless Northlander is actually a very good card in self-inflicting uh, harm decks. Breakthrough when Fearless Northlander takes damage against plus two uh, attack. And um, we've got uh, more inflicting lane damage thanks to the uh, Skaven Pyromancer. Uh, some good old uh, fashion damage bursts with Sentinel Battle Mage. Um, Breton Conjurer and Rapid Shot are there for, um, well, basically for defense and. Uh, that Frost Atronach, 5-5, five, five. that's 5 HP from which you can benefit to inflict as much self-harm as possible, uh, meaning 4, and uh, swing with a lot, a lot of damage. Now, as I mentioned, Blast Bones. Blast Bones charge last gasp deal 1 damage to all creatures in this lane. This means it behaves like the uh, Skaven Pyromancer while also dealing with an entire opponent uh, enemy lane. So it's it's a very good card. It's a very good card in this setup and in any self-inflicting harm decks, as I mentioned before. And your usual high um, high attack generating cards uh, with Alpha Conjurer, Cryo Crush, Giant, Belligerent, and uh, Mighty and Uncano. Pretty much sums up what this baby uh, should do. So thank you, Lino, for your submission, and uh, let's put it to good use on uh, some uh, good old-fashioned matches. All right, and we're starting off with a match against a, a scout deck. This should be a good test, considering scout has a lot of available options to uh, basically just get rid of cards uh, from uh, from the board. Blast Bones already. Oh, that's a second Blast Bones. Looks like a uh, pretty nasty dead hand. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The deck uh, is a bit unbalanced. So it requires some, uh, some good play. And of course some decent card drawing, which we do not have right now. That's very acceptable. We can lay down Ooh, well, I'm gonna lay down a Daggerfall Mage. We've got a Fighter's Guild Hall. But we'll keep it. Why? Because, uh, guess what? Scout has access to um, support removals. Uh oh. Well, the Sanctuary. Why, thank you. Ah, oh, don't tell me it's another one. Oh no, it's actually Giant Bat. That's fine. What can we drop here? Frenzy the Lit. We definitely need to lay down uh, this guy. And 
the elite and basically next turn with five magicka we can drop the fighter skill hall and uh steal from folks who ain't using it that's the key and whoops hmm that means the Falkrid Defiler will draw two cards from the discard pile. Uh, and he'll probably target the, uh, the Frenzied Lit. So let's draw Fighters Guild Hall and let's deal one damage to everything. Ooh, this is, uh, this is juicy. Already 10 damage on the board. As I mentioned, Falkrid Defiler will trade into that one. Or maybe not. Will we see a sheer point dragon for six magicka? No, sanctuary pet. Aw, oh, damn it. I wasn't looking for trouble. We could use blast bones. We need to reduce that uh that sanctuary pet's HP to just one. And we don't have any means to do that. And we probably want to fend off that shadow lane by uh, dropping uh, the Fighters Guild recruit. No! Indril Mastermind. Damn it, Blast Bones can't use it. Hmm. Still want to draw a card. I'll just play Blast Bones and deal some face damage. And uh, let's deal one damage that. We use some uh, some good quality uh, cloak and dagger. Yeah, expected trade. And the giant bat. The giant bat uh, grabbed from the Fort Bruce Defiler. So my board is pretty clear. I have to... I have to play intelligent here. I don't want to burn my hand. That's exactly what uh, the scout deck wants, and it's not your usual scout deck. It's It looks like a slay scout. Okay, so it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to remove it from the board, even with a Shear Point Dragon. Unless Shear Point plus uh, Drain Vitality happens. But all in all, it was not a complete waste of resources. Oh man, what the hell? Another Sanctuary Pet. Ooh, give me cards. Thank you, sir. It's very acceptable. And I will use Blast Bones to clear that field, uh, that shadow lane, sorry. That is excellent indeed. And we also got uh, the Tomb of Observation. Let's reapply the ward. Just in case my opponent decides to drop down a Territorial Viper. Another Sanctuary Pet, that's the third one. That's all of them. Of course, all near Necromancer can bring them back. Sheer Point Dragon. At least my opponent is out of the, is out of ring charges. So now we can play on even grounds. Let's see. I will use Uncarno. I want to deal with that sheer point dragon and I want to deal with it pronto. I have many important things on my mind. Your blood will spill. And uh, some face damage, a frenzy to lit. We're basically waiting for a good card to start buffing these creatures up. I don't think my opponent will trade uh, the Sanctuary Pet into um, the Daggerfall Mage's Ward. I will keep people alive. That will not be healthy. So I'm guessing he will go for the Wardcrafter. 
That's pretty much the available trade card without giving me anything in return and dealing with a card on the board. Naryu. Indeed, it is a slight scout. And that thing just got buffed up out of nowhere to 4-3 from 2 on, thanks to Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay. What can we do here? Well, we have uh, the um, Cradle Crush Giant. Now, we also have 10 Magicka. And you know what? I think we have lethal. I think. If we calculate this correctly. Everything will get buffed up. Except for the uh, the Daggerfall Mage. That's uh, how much damage it is. 7, 8. Uh, I think we have it. Yep. Exactly a lethal. Nine plus eight. That's seventeen. How did this happen? Magic. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> it's a kind of magic. And we're back with game number four. Guess what? Uh, we've had some uh, very interesting matches against a guild zone and uh, something else. And there were very, very good matches. A decent display of all the perks that this deck offers. And the bug is not quite fixed. We've lost two recordings. I'll just be on the lookout. Constantly drop them uh, the menu and check if the recording is still running. Yep, so far so good. Fighting against a uh, a monk, and it could be. Nope, it's a pilfer monk. Yep, pilfer monk. I wanted to say uh, the Unicorn Monk that we showcased, uh, I think, some days ago. Based on um, on the Shadow Lane uh, summons, it's a Pilfer Monk. Now, we gotta be careful with Pilfer Monk. Because it can get stuff done. Also relies on Anasi, maybe Chimera, but again, Chimera, in my opinion, is a pretty uh, dead card. No offense there, but uh, hopefully, no offense there, but that's just my view. I couldn't find any use for Chimera yet, but maybe, who knows? Okay, this got buffed to s oh my God, six two. We're starting off. Very nicely. We're gonna drop the uh, frenzied elites in the shadow lane along with a ward crafter. Watch yourself now. And I'll provide ward to one of the frenzied elites. I can use a ward crafter to trade into that skuma bruiser. That's gonna be six two once it'll deal damage although this uh you will not this six four that we are continuously uh buffing in the v lane be one way or another. okay no monk strike yet expected to my opponent to deal with that already On the bright side, we got a rapid shot from our first rune, and which we can use for five magicka for Breton Conjurer and rapid shot, spawning a frost agent. I have to decide uh, where exactly. Oh, 
shadow shift. You must pay to pass Damn. You know what? I will risk it this time. I will trade uh, my... I'll trade a non ward it a lit. Uh, which actually will survive, and it will just get buffed to 4 damage. <laughs> and uh, let's spawn a, uh, a Frost Agenoch in the field lane. So I didn't deal with the Bruiser. Actually, it's, uh, it's Bandari Bruiser, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, more damage. Thank you. So we've got an insane amount of damage. And we can use a crocodile to gain even more damage. Holy moly. How much can we raise it up? That's uh, 2 damage, 2 attack, 12, 14. Oh, that's just messed up. Right there. Pilfer Monk. Javelins. Okay, I accept that. I mean, you have to get some cards to deal with your opponent's board. Can't rely only on pilfering. Uh, because uh, it tends to fail most of the times. So we have a good trade and we got rid of that drawing mechanism. Hmm. And why the not? Let's deal damage. Gods take you. I could deal even more damage. Oh man. Uh, don't tell me it's another javelin. It's probably a javelin. Or maybe it's a... Uh, uh, but I don't think... Pilfer Monk, yeah, it's javelin. I was about to say... Uh, uh, p -p 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 what's his name? Golden Initiate. You should check if our recording is still on. Yeah, it's on. Oh, and we're close to some uh, low battery there. Very disappointed that... Recording failed for two of the greatest matches could have been showcased with this deck. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. So, uh, so far so good. This recording is standing. Okay, that lane just bags for a... Uh, for a Cradle Cross Giant. And guess what? We can, uh, we can improve the damage of the... Um, Daggerful Mage. I don't think we have lethal. So we'll deal two damage to our Frenzy the Lit. We'll make it a five. Actually, a six. There it is. Uh, we can also uh, get Rapid Shot. But let's deal with some damage first. Normal Prophecies. And looks like the game is over. Unless Monk Strike happens, but that's pretty much irrelevant. I mean, that Shadow Lane has... How much? That's 16 damage. And we can consider uh, dropping a... Um, a Tomb of Alteration and then uh, Skaven Pyromancer. Oh, there's a little battery! A lot of you guys have missed low battery wall well, because of the recordings kept failing. I had to uh, just charge my phone because uh, the low batteries were in the failed recordings. And a good game from my opponent conceding it has been an engaging hunt. in front of the Harakiri Battle Mage. A decent, decent match. 
Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to my channel supporters. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.